Okay, so go up to the file menu, which is where we do both saving and exporting. We'll have a look at saving to start off with. Um, now, if you've already saved your file and you want to quickly save as you go along, and this is highly recommended as uh, computers can crash, Illustrator can crash, all programs crash, especially when you're dealing with uh, big files and um, complicated processes. Um, holding down control and pressing S is a remarkably quick way to save your file on the fly. So get into the habit of saving your file every couple of minutes or just before you're about to do a big function or uh, rasterizing a large image or referencing files or something like that. Okay, but saving our file the first time we go down to save as, which is shift, control and S if you want the shortcut. So we'll click on that and you'll see it brings up the save as menu. Move that into the middle. Okay, so first off you naturally choose the folder in which you want to save your file. You choose your file name. I'm going to call this A3 panel and I will in fact put it in our saving and exporting folder. Now the save as type menu, um, if you click on it it drops down and you can see a few options like FXG, AI, PDF, EPS and a few others. I'm going to talk about the two formats I currently use um, which are the Adobe Illustrator AI file and the Adobe PDF.pdf file. Um, now in the most recent versions of Illustrator, uh, CS4 and CS5, there's actually really no difference between them um, apart from if you were to use multi-pages, um, so that's numerous artboards in which case uh, there is no real support for that in the .ai file. But essentially both files are um, two files in one. So both the um, Adobe, Adobe Illustrator file, um, well the Adobe Illustrator file is a Illustrator file that enables PDF um, opening capabilities, whereas the PDF file um, is simply a PDF file that enables Adobe Illustrator editing capabilities. The stuff is to say they are almost the same thing, which can be quite confusing. I'll select the Adobe Illustrator format for the moment. We'll go on save. So click save and it'll open up a second window that allows us to choose our version. Now we're working in Adobe Illustrator CS5, however uh, often you'll have to move to a computer or um, give the file to uh, your teammate who might be working in uh, Illustrator CS4 or CS3 or even earlier versions. So this allows you to um, make the file backwards compatible because an Adobe, Adobe CS3 will not be able to open anything by Adobe CS4 or Adobe CS5 but of course um, the most recent version CS5 can open all of the previous files so you could click on CS3 if we're giving it to someone else but you'll notice that there's a little warning and it says saving to a legacy format that is a format that has been outdated um, may uh, remove some of the editing capabilities and um, some of the extra things that um, CS5 enable uh, like the warping of the text uh, might not be available. So we'll, we'll change it back to CS5 for the moment. Okay, uh, create PDF compatible file. Again you can open the Illustrator file in some PDF at times. Include the linked files um, so that is embed all the files uh, when you're um, when you're exporting the image and a few other options. Okay, so I'll just click OK. And it'll save our file. If I go to File, um, Save as PDF, you'll see a few options. Preserve Illustrator editing capabilities. That increases the file size, uh, so if you do just want to save a PDF, um, it's better to use the export settings, but you can uncheck that and um, save it as a PDF from this level. A few options here for compression enables us to um, control the um, exported DPI of our rasterized images, so you'll remember high resolution images of say 300 or above can really weigh down our file, so we can um, force color bitmap images to downsample to 150 for all images above 225 ppi or that's points per inch 
but it uh, also stands for dots per inch, so DPI. And we can control our, control our compression, which doesn't really make a big difference. Uh, same with grayscale and monochrome. Marks and bleeds, we don't use that very often. And I think that's just about all we need to set. Um, you can save a preset, but there's very little we actually set in this window. And then you save your PDF.